Good morning and welcome to a new vlog. It is 8 now. I woke up about 45 minutes ago or so. Made myself a nice cappuccino. Because I have a very long day ahead. I actually have no idea how I woke up this early because I technically only got 5 hours of sleep. Not technically, I really did only get 5 hours, hours of sleep. But somehow I woke up completely on my own, which is great. Um, so yeah, I have a day. I have a day ahead of me. I still need to like wake up. But anyway, I think I have like half an hour before I leave. So I'm going to drink my coffee and have a couple of uh, cookies, early morning cookies. They're the healthy kind. Okay, so chill. And I'm going to read my Bible uh, for a bit before I start getting ready and leave the house. So, come along, brother, sister. I'm about to shower and get ready for church and for the day but I was just thinking about how like it's insane the amounts of emotions that come out and come to the surface whenever like I start the day by just quieting down and reading my bible and praying and everything comes to the surface that I was suppressing before and it's just so it's interesting <laughs> yeah I'm starting the day feeling very very connected to my heart this morning which is good and bad I suppose <laughs> anyway I'll get ready now all right so I'm on my way to church now and um, just decided to share my top three priorities for the day just so we can like okay so number one get the whole passport situation fixed uh, i need to update my passport renew my passport update my passport i'm so tired i am so tired anyway so that's like yeah so the first thing is renew my passport the second thing is get a workout in that's usually i'm gonna renew my passport at the club and so which i'll tell you more about later but um that means that after i get my Passport renewed, I can then go to the um, track and run or walk, whatever I feel like I'm ready for. And then uh, depending on what I do and how much strain I cover at the club, maybe when I get home before bed, I'll do like a gentle restorative yoga routine to kind of balance out everything. But we'll see. I just want to at least get one kind of workout thing in today. So renew passport workout and work i want to schedule the podcast for this week uh so this week's podcast needs to be at least scripted so that i can film it either later tonight or tomorrow um and get that out of the way okay so these are the three things for today so yeah but first church see ya Alright, so I just finished church and I parked here at the club and remember when I said about the whole passport thing? So, I really love being Egyptian and I love Egypt, okay? I feel like I'm very blessed and very privileged and I live in a bubble and it's all amazing until either you have to go to like a government facility or you have to go to like some kind of hospital or health then you then you like come face to face with just how insane like the real Egypt is and the real Cairo is and so last week I needed to update a bunch of things for my uh, before I could update my or renew my passport and so I had to go to the heart of government facilities and oh my goodness the degree of chaos was like beyond me like truly 
I, I kept telling myself, like, okay, Booba, it's just one day. It's just one errand. You know, you're just going to go in. You're going to hand in your paperwork and get that, you know, thing done and out of the way. Um, and whatever. And so I am so blessed. Again, back to the bubble thing. Is that because I... I'm a part of this like sporting club. It's like a whole community that my grandparents and my great grandparents, I think, before them, um, are all like we're members here, we're owners here, and so they give us this like um, very privileged <laughs> access to a person from the government facilities who comes to the club and then can do your paperwork for you. So I am gonna apply for an, a renewal of my passport. So wish me luck I really hope um, I'm not missing any paperwork and I'm not missing anything I really really hope so we'll see uh, wish me luck I just filmed a really awkward vloggy moment of of like asking when I'm ever going to be comfortable vlogging in public and then found out that the microphone was off the whole time <laughs> I'm 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 very disappointed at the fact that like I don't change you know what I mean like I try to pay attention you know I try to focus but nothing changes you know what I mean this morning I was going to church right so I was wearing my church clothes but then I packed gym clothes like workout clothes because I knew I was coming to the club and then I needed to work out etc and I come here and then I go to the bathroom I take my church clothes off and then I open this bag, okay? And I, I brought a hoodie and I brought uh, my running shoes, but I didn't bring a t-shirt or leggings, yoga pants. And now I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to work out. I'm just so pissed off and annoyed because this was literally, like today was a day of like errands and you know, renewing my passport and doing all those things. You know, and then the working out was the part I was looking forward to the most all day long. I think there's like a store here. I think there's a store here that sells like sportswear. It would make sense. We're at a sports club. So I'm going to go see if they have anything that I can buy um, and wear and work out in. Otherwise, I'm just going to cry because I'm sad. Stop honking because all I wanted to do was work out, okay? All right, so I'm gonna go check the store and then I'm gonna go do the whole passport thing and then we'll see, we'll see how the day goes. Lordy! All right guys, so I saw the Heliopolis store, okay? See, see, see? Looks like they have, it looks like they have stuff. You wanna go in and see? We're gonna go in and see. Why? Because I'm determined to work out. Okay, check this out, check this out. Um, it's, uh, it's locked. It's locked. Rest assured, I asked someone and they said that, um, uh, that uh, the lady is gonna be back. She's just in the bathroom or something. And so, uh, to save time, I'm just gonna go do the passport thing now and then return. I'm so glad I decided to vlog today because, you know, you're not gonna get this level of... of Lala, sorry. Um, you're not gonna get this level of failure, epic failure, except for me and on days like this. So, um, I walk in to renew the passport and the guy goes like, yeah, you don't have pictures. You also don't have the right paperwork. Um, even though the paperwork I thought I had, I thought was correct. Um, but no, it's not correct. So here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna go all the way to a Kodak, like a nearby Kodak, 
and I'm gonna get proper pictures taken. Oh, and, and by the way, inside I left my bag, I forgot my bag, and then I walked away, and then I, I forgot to take my passport and stuff and had to run back to get my old passport and my bag. I mean, my brain. I don't know what's wrong with my brain today. But yeah, we're gonna go to a Kodak, get the pictures taken, come back here, give him the pictures with the correct paperwork, and then wait to receive my passport in 10 days. I spent my childhood getting photographed at this Kodak and now I can't find it. So just watch, watch and see that it's gonna be closed. Just watch, because this day is just wow. Um, I have decided to buy myself flowers because I can buy myself flowers. Okay, so I'm buying myself flowers. Thank you very much. I will have you know that the Kodak is indeed closed. And um, I have my flowers. And I'm going to Uber to a nearby Kodak. And let's see how this day ends because I'm over it. <laughs> Kind of left you um, hanging yesterday because the night just didn't end the way that I wanted it to um, and I ended up having so many emotions and just blah 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 I, I couldn't even do the whole camera thing which again is such an interesting thing about like committing to putting your face on camera and committing to speaking to people uh is that you never know how a day is going to end you never know what's going to unfold in a day and if you're actually going to be able to commit to this towards the end but i realized that you know even if i didn't finish this vlog yesterday um i can do this again today and come to you guys because i know you'd understand but anyway uh yesterday i um like i told you i went and i bought uh you know clothes to work out in the super dorky clothes that you saw and uh as i was buying the the pants and the t-shirts there was this guy inside the super entitled guy speaking to the cashier um who by the way was like the cutest woman like she was so small and also very decent and everything and he just came in and basically stole he made her believe that there was a problem with her credit card machine and then was yelling at her and speaking to her in the most disgusting, patronizing, condescending way I've ever seen in my life. Um, and so I was like, you know what, I'm just going to stay in the store because I need to talk to her after. I need to tell her to like not take crap from, from this guy or from anyone really uh, because she was being so, so like extra polite, you know, like she was just taking, taking it. Um, and so like he basically like just took the clothes put them on and left the store wearing them and she was like because he's a man and because of the way he was speaking to her she couldn't say anything um, and so as soon as he left I was like 
uh, you shouldn't let anyone speak to you this way. Like really, I'm so sorry you had to endure this, but you really shouldn't let anyone speak to you this way. And as soon as I said that, she started crying. And so I hugged her and I was like, literally, don't let someone like that make you cry. And uh, I know it's easier said than done, but seriously, like whatever. And also I can report him to the club. Would you like me to go do that? And then even though she said no, I was like, I'm going to report him. But then by the time I left the store, he was gone. Um, but then I just I couldn't even. And then he left the store and the, the money never actually went through, which means he left leaving her to pay for whatever he wanted, like the t-shirt he was wearing. And he was so rude and it just triggered every last like thing inside of me where I was like, I don't understand why we live in a society where, especially here in Egypt, I feel more so in, you know, Middle Eastern Arab countries than in the West, uh, just because women are so much more empowered elsewhere. But here it's like men can get away with doing whatever the heck they want to do, speaking however they want to speak. And there are almost never repercussions. And I feel like like there's so much that I could even say on this topic, but it triggered me so much. I was so, so upset. I like I just got so emotional and I couldn't even like I couldn't handle this poor woman and everything she had to deal with. I don't know. It just it's not okay. Anyway, um, and then today I just I woke up, I did yoga. Um, I worked a bunch. I had family, like lunch with the family. I showered uh, and everything like that. And now it's already 7 p.m. So it's super late, but I'm going to film and record the podcast for this week. Um, and then I'm going to get ready and then we're going over to my cousin's house. And so, yeah, thank you for coming along on this fun vlog, like Fun-ish. I feel like it ended on a much more serious note than I had planned, but um, yeah, let me know if you like these kinds of vlogs, um, if there's something specific you'd like us to talk about either on the podcast or something you'd like to see on the vlog. Um, leave your questions and your comments below. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Thank you so much for being here and I'll see you again next time.